Okay, this is a program called CU. I use it to play back my IGC files that I record on my flights. It has several views. This is the uh, plan view looking down. You can see that you can download satellite maps. Down here I haven't downloaded the satellite map for this area. That's why it looks different. And you can see the various ground tracks. Mine's in red. Rich is in uh, greenish yellow. And Bill's in blue. And then you can display your variograph. And in this screen, you can actually change the parameters, various parameters you can display. And then you have your flight property screen. And my favorite, the 3D screen. So in this screen, you can tilt and pan and zoom in. And I zoom in and zoom out. You can see three of us on launch ready to go. I'm gonna, you can set how fast you want it to play back. I'm set for 10 times faster than normal right now. Down here is the time, uh, the person that's the, it's currently following. The time, your altitude above sea level, your instantaneous vario, your ground speed. Delta time is how long you climbed in, your, in the current thermal. Delta H is how high you climbed in the current thermal. Your average vario rate for that thermal. Your average ground speed. When you go on glide, it tells you how far you glided. It tells you L over D for that glide. If you set up task, it will tell you information about the tasks. It tells you your wind direction and speed. AGL is how high above the terrain. Since it has a terrain map built in, you can see the mountains and stuff. It tells you how high you are above the actual terrain. It gives you indicated airspeed, your true airspeed, your ground track, and your GPS altitude. So I'll go ahead and uh, start us here. And I launched first and found a really nice thermal. This is called the point here. Uh, launched, went over to the point. See down here the Vario. Um, started uh, kind of light and then picked up to where at times I was over 800 feet a minute. My average for the whole thermal was 475. Rich launch came over to where same spot. This is pretty much the house thermal. Climbed out really good. Let me zoom, zoom out a little bit so you can see Bill. This turned out to be the best thermal of the day. We never got higher than this. Got to 65. It says 6600 there. And uh, I was showing a wind kind of out of the west, uh, southwest. So uh, I checked the weather earlier, and it said that way over here to the east was supposed to be 10,000 foot lift. Over here was nine. Along here, an elk was supposed to be about six. So once I saw the wind drift, I decided, well, maybe we should fly south down along here, get over this ridge to where we can get to eight or nine, and then maybe jump over this ridge where we can get to 10, and then head back north, try for a big triangle. So I asked everybody if that sounded good. Everyone said, yeah. So we said, okay, let's, let's head south. So I'll speed up here a little bit. So we headed south, and for some reason that Bill didn't fully explain to me, all of a sudden he turned east and headed off and got drilled and ended up having to land over here. Uh, I found some lift right away and started climbing. Rich uh, had to look a lot harder at the time and wasn't climbing so well. You can see here the difference in the height. I'm going to speed up to 40 times faster now. So I topped out on this one, six, a little over 6,000, headed back to this ridge. About the time I got back here, Rich said, ah, let's head over to where Bill landed, there's landing, so that we can be closer, easier for the retrieve. So we started heading back to where Bill was. Because I had to fly so far back, I ended up low. You can see on this glide here, he got 18.5 to 1, I only got 13.7. And pretty much for the rest of the flight, I just couldn't couldn't climb up as as well as him. 
he topped out at 61 there. I topped out at 6,000, 6, wasn't too bad. So once we got over we, to where Bill had landed and we saw we were still pretty, pretty high, we hit some lift, we said, let's go down to the airport, Lampson Airport. My plane is, I had parked it there. So if we land next to there, we can just load up my plane. I can get home a lot easier. So we headed that way and uh, just found nothing but broken thermals never climbed more than 200 feet in any of them had a strong uh, west wind although it doesn't show up properly on here it was about 10 miles an hour so we had to keep turning that shows a headwind too we had to keep turning into the wind and uh, which didn't affect our l over d very well so came in over the airport about 200 feet and just enough to check out the LZ and land. Rich was about a thousand feet higher. He spiraled down and landed. We both had great landings into a nice decent wind. So that was the flight and that's the program CU and hope you enjoyed it.